how the hub is extensible so third-party applications can be used with it. We showed a Netflix example. Um, I want to show you a little bit more about how music playback works. I'm going to touch this playlist, which is something I've been playing recently. You can hear um, the phones have a speaker. I have to hold it up here. I presume you can hear this. So there's actually music playing. Um, and what it's doing is connecting to the service to download the artist imagery for each artist I play. So that's where that background is coming from. And I can pan to skip to the next item in my playlist. So I have a mix here. It's got Annie and the Black Eyed Peas. And if I wait long enough and have network connectivity, which is the risk in this demo, you'll see a Black Eyed Peas artist image there. Looks like uh, my network connectivity is, is still not working. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is go back. And the music keeps playing. In fact, I'm going to navigate away from music for a moment. I come over here. If I'm in the start menu, music keeps playing. If I go into my email, music keeps playing. So the operating system is a full multitasking operating system. And it does things like lets music run in the background. It lets email load in the background. Browser web pages load and render in the background. Uh, so I was going to show that before, but lack of network connectivity is going to prevent me from doing so. And as an example, as I navigate around, I can use the dedicated volume buttons, which are part of the hardware on every device. I'm pushing the volume buttons here to change the volume. And they include basic transport controls. So if I'm tired of hearing the music, I can just hit pause. And that music playback experience is available as a facility for you in the apps that you write as well. So your music playback or audio playback can integrate in and play in the background as well to the extent that you're using the APIs that we built in. Um, OK, 